interest in musical saws started with just listening to an eclectic range of music and at some point I picked up on this kind of high-pitched melodic sound and went that's a musical saw that's what that sound is. I started playing with it and was like I would really like to involve this in some other kinds of collaborative work because I like the idea of making art also more accessible to people. Well, so the saws and the loop and saw choir, I have mallets um, that are just like rubber-headed mallets for playing drums or xylophone. Musical saws have been used for sound effects. They're used for um, kind of creating ambiance and other sorts of pop music compositions. The a set, a selection of instruments that I have varies widely because I want to, um, one, use lots of weird stuff that people don't think of as uh, normal instruments, and two, have instruments that you know almost anybody can play. Things like analog synthesizers, they look like toys, but they have a long tradition of use. Like painting them something like a dog squeaker, or a tambourine, or an electronic analog synthesizer can be a lot less intimidating because they don't know what it's supposed to sound like as an instrument and they can make up something that is new and sounds good to them. Calling it sound art places my trajectory into art making because I'm an artist. That's what I do.